This week I'm working on not one, but two panels that have sustained quite bad damage. Both panels are going to be equally challenging to repair and both have a mixture of dents, kinks and creases. Can something like this be repaired with paint and stent removal? Stay tuned to find out. Hi everyone, it's Jake from First Track Dance bringing you another paintless dent removal challenge. And today, this video is sponsored by Skillshare, but more about that later in the video. Now this was a job I completed at the end of winter for a really nice guy who was trying to make his mum's car look a little bit more presentable again. He was searching around for a couple of second hand wings or fenders, but just couldn't find them for this model and getting new ones and having them resprayed was gonna be very, very costly. He approached me and asked whether I could just improve these ones by about 50%. So, I agreed to help him out and said that it would just be an improvement, but you know me, I always strive for a little bit more. So by the time I arrived, I only had about five hours of daylight to work with, which is about two and a half hours per panel. And as usual, I had the high winds, the bright sunshine and icy rain to contend with. So with the time against me, I wasn't able to film this repair in as much detail with as many camera angles that I normally do, but you can still see the complete repair process from start to finish. But before I get started, let's take a quick look at both of these dents in detail. Looking at the left wing or fender first, we can see that the damage covers an area of approximately 300 millimeters by 200 millimeters. This damage really comprises of one large bowl shaped dent with a crown around its perimeter as shown here in red. The overall depth of this dent is approximately 40 millimeters. On the lower section of this panel, we also have this edge that has kinked slightly. Right, moving over to the right side of wing or fender, we can see that this damage is a lot more complex and covers an area of approximately 400 millimeters by 280 millimeters. This damage can be broken down into two main areas of damage, section A and section B. Both of these sections are similar in depth, which is approximately 35 millimeters. Looking more closely into the damage, we can see that dent B has quite a deep crease running in a curved shape over the top here. We can also see the high crown areas of both dents running around their perimeter. Now the tricky part with both of these panels is that there is a reinforcement section behind the panel shown here, which will definitely cause some access issues. And similar to the other side, we also have this kink at the lower edge. As we come around the outside here, we can also see that we have a high spot pushing outwards. So there is obviously something behind here too, which could cause an issue with access. Right, so that's the analysis done. Now time to get started. In order to get behind this panel to remove this damage, I need to remove the front grille panel and then the headlight assembly. Before I get started, I'm just polishing off the black transfer mark that's on the surface of the panel. Next, I'm using some cold glue, which allows me to start pulling the bulk of this damage out. And here's what it looks like so far after the cold glue pulling. Now I'm going to work on roughing out the panel and getting it back to its basic shape again. For this I'm using various hot glue tabs and I'm using my knockdown to remove any high crowns and any other high areas that I illustrated earlier in my analysis. As you can see I'm using various different glue tabs to fit the shape and size of the low area I'm trying to raise up. Any areas that are pulled up too far with the glue tabs are simply tapped back down again using my tap down tools. And here's what the panel looks like after roughing all the main damage back out. Now it's time to fine tune the panel, lifting up all the micro lows and tapping down all the micro highs. As you can see, I'm working from lots of different angles to make sure I get all the damage out as cleanly as possible. Now it's time to polish this panel up using some fine compound to remove any surface marks. Right, and that's the first panel done. Now it's time to move over to the other side. Okay, so at this point in the video, I just wanted to mention today's sponsor, which is Skillshare. It's a platform that I've been using for some time now as I find it's a great way to learn lots of new skills from editing the very video you're watching now to photography, electronics, product design, 3D printing and many more. 
It's an amazing platform with classes that can really help you to achieve your best as it's a huge online community of creative and curious people exactly like me where you can pretty much learn anything you want. Now this week I'm going to suggest a great course to follow if you're looking to start making videos on YouTube, either in paint instead of removal or maybe something else. It's one that I've just finished and it's by Marcus Brownlee called YouTube Success Script Shoot and Edit with MKBHD. It takes you through all the steps you need to make really engaging YouTube videos. No doubt some of you have probably already heard of Marcus and may already be watching some of his great content, but in this course, he teaches you his exact process of how he's become a huge success on this platform with lots of tips and tricks to boost your views and grow your audience. And the great thing I like about Skillshare is you can learn at your own pace and all their courses are ad-free, so you can always remain focused and in the zone when learning something that really interests you. So if you want to make 2022 a year of new learning and discovery and want to increase your knowledge in productivity, business skills, video editing, graphic design, or anything else, well, then I can highly recommend Skillshare. They have everything you need to take your learning to the next level. To sign up, simply use the link at the top of my description. The first 1,000 people to use the link will get a one month free trial of Skillshare. Right, now let's get back to this repair. Just like the other side, before I can access the back of this damage, I need to remove the headlight assembly. I also remove any surface marks with a quick polish and I prep the panel with an alcohol solution prior to cold glue pulling. Like I did on the other panel, I'm using the cold glue to bring up as much of the damage as possible. Next, I'm pulling up some of the tighter areas using a mixture of different hot glue tabs. And here we go, this is what the panel looks like so far after the initial glue pulls. Now it's time to start roughing the panel back out to try and get it back to its original shape. First I'm tapping down the high spot here which I highlighted earlier in my analysis. Now using some soft tips on my screw on tip bar, I can start bringing up some of these bigger creases. I'm also using my knockdowns with various different tips to remove any high areas on the face of the panel. Now it's very difficult to get leverage when working in such a large open space at the front here, so I'm using this large block of wood which I can lever off with my PDR bars. Now the bulk of the damage has been roughed out, I can go in with some finer tip tools to work on all the fine detail work. Here I'm using a thin flat bar to slide between the front bracket that's obstructing the back side of this panel, which I illustrated earlier. Like the other side, I'm giving the panel a good polish to remove any surface marks and to give the panel a deep shine. Now the last thing to do is to put both the headlights back on the car and then I can fit the centre grille back into place. Once all these parts are back on the car, I can then shut the bonnet down and show you the final result. Well, thanks everyone for watching this far into the video. Considering the time I had to spend on both these panels and how badly they were creased, I think I managed to get a good result on both these panels. Using the Glexo cold glue system, some hot glue pulling and lots of manipulation with my rods, I was able to work these panels quite well. The left panel came out far better than expected and pretty much looked brand new again. 
The right panel obviously was a lot more challenging, so considering the customer was only expecting a 50% improvement on both these panels, I think this panel came out pretty well. There was a slight ripple left behind at the front and the panel was pretty kicked up at the bottom edge, so I had to do the best that I could. Like I said, this was only meant to be a minor improvement. I went the extra mile myself, just as a challenge really, to see how well I could improve it in the time that I had. If you enjoyed the video, it'd be great to get a thumbs up. And as always, if you want to keep in touch with all the latest video releases, please feel free to hit that subscribe button and click the bell icon to be informed of when the next video goes live. Also, there's many more videos like this over at my YouTube channel, so please feel free to check out some of those if you want to see some more repairs similar to this one. But that's all for now. Thanks again for watching, and I'll see you all on the next one.